Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this video, kind of wanted to talk about the realignment I did with the Big Ten, SEC, and Big 12. Um, I did a couple weeks back. Uh, this video here, I kind of want to talk about um, how it would work for college basketball. So we're going to play this slide here, start here in the Big Ten. Um, Oregon and Washington will be one package together. So, you know, college basketball, they play two games Two games a week at least, I believe, unless they're in a tournament. Then it'll be it'll probably be three. Should they make it to the final round, but anyway, most of the time, majority of the time, at least they play they play twice a week. So, you know, one you know, you'll go to Oregon and then you'll go to Washington or vice versa, Washington, Oregon for one trip. Notre Dame, Stanford is that's a far one, but I mean it could work. I mean look at look at that I mean if travel's not a not a big deal then it shouldn't be a big deal, you know? So uh, let's zoom in a little bit more here. So yeah, it wouldn't be a big deal um, if travel's not, not such a big deal. So I'm not worried about that. UCLA, USC, you travel there. You go to the Illinois schools here, Illinois Northwestern. You go to Nebraska and Iowa are like right side by side state-wise. Same for Minnesota, Wisconsin. So there'll be a pair. So yeah, pairs here, I already have them in pairs here like I did in the other video. Nothing's changed. But this is going to be mainly for basketball, how it will work. Indiana, Purdue. Um, Michigan, Ohio State, of course. Michigan State, Penn State's a pair. Uh, Boston College, Syracuse. Your Boston, New York kind of a deal there, sort of. Uh, Maryland, Rutgers. And Virginia, Virginia Tech. So that, those, those are your pairings. That's how it worked for college basketball. Um, as far as scheduling goes too, um, you could probably do, you could probably play everybody once. That'll be 23 games there. You could do that. Or you could play, um, that's that's probably the way I would do it. Do Just play everybody once. Um, I really don't know how else they would do it. If for basketball, I, I, I'm good with that. And then kind of just be home and away, home and away. And then um, let's go to the other conference here, SEC. So that's Big Ten. SEC here, you have your your package, your, your couple here, your pair here, your pair here. And then your Alabama schools here, Auburn, their pair, the Mississippi schools, the Tennessee schools. So this will work out fine for basketball. Um, to the South Carolina schools um, and so on and so forth. Uh, Duke, North Carolina, NC State, Wake Forest, Florida, Florida State, Georgia, Georgia Tech, LSU, Miami. Um, you know, LSU, Miami, I think that could, it's just, you just cross the Caribbean to get to, to there because I have Florida and Florida State as a pair and I'm going to keep it that way. Same as Georgia and Georgia Tech. So, um, so I think this will work fine for the SEC, for everybody, for basketball, for football. Um, the other thing I could think of for basketball too, scheduling wise, if if you do do divisions in basketball, I don't know why you would, but if you ever do, cuts off in the middle here. So you have these first six, one division, the six on this side is another one. This corner here is another one, and then this corner here is another one. So you have like four total divisions with six teams in there. Um, you can they, everybody could play everybody in their division twice. That'll be ten games right there, and then the rest of them. I mean, to make it sixteen or eighteen or twenty, even uh, you could play. So if it's ten games here, you could play um, two, two teams from each other other um place here that'll give you but even if you play 10 teams that's just an extra five games i think i think you just play everybody once and just do home and away home and away rotate that i, I think that would be so much fun you don't need to play anybody twice a year um if you do you play other schools from other conferences especially the the power three schools could all play each other um so let's go to the last one here. Arizona, Arizona State, obviously they're a pair. Paired Boise State and UNLV together. Uh, Cal, San Diego State, that's a new pair because Stanford is going to be with Notre Dame. 
um, in my my realignment here. We still don't know what's gonna happen, but um, I feel like this is the best option for long term option at least for I think we'll be pretty happy with the two Utah schools, Colorado, Iowa State, um, Kansas, Kansas State. I would I would be happy with this. Everybody else will figure it out, but for right now, as far as like major um, major teams and, and major college sports, um, this is the way to go. Um, Baylor, TCU is a good pair. Houston with uh, SMU, you got your Houston, Dallas thing going on there. Oklahoma State, Texas Tech, um, Cincinnati, Louisville. They're pretty close by. Memphis, UCF, a pair because of that's just how they ended up being a pair. And then you have to have your backyard brawl pit in West Virginia. So I think this is it's it's basically three NFLs that you have here. Three NFLs that you have here. Um, you know, your teams in the north and the south and the east and the west. <clears throat> so that's basically what it is now. You're, you're three in it. You're three like kind of pre minute pre NFLs basically. Um, so let me know what you think of the pairing. Uh, as far as uh, conference tournaments go, that'll be crazy. I mean, the first probably the first four will get the first round by, and then four will play twenty four, and then. Or I don't know how they would do it. Maybe it's the first eight that will have the buy. I think that's what it is. First eight will have buys, and then the and then eight will play twenty four, nine will play twenty three, and so on and so forth. Um, so and for football, um, you just get the two best teams that are in the um, that are in the conference. Um, you'll have four four champion four division champs, but. Um, Whatever, whoever comes out of that mini tournament or whatever or however they figure it out the top two teams um, You know, it'll be fun either way. So uh, But yeah, I'm just showing you how it would work for college basketball as far as the parent the pairings would go for scheduling and everything too um, If anything too, maybe you play your rival twice if anything, you know and so I'll, I'll bring your total to 24 games and even 24 so uh, either whether whatever it is 23 24 conference games and then you have your um let's just say let's say about like another eight another eight um non-conference games i'm okay with that eight to ten you know depending on if you're in, in tournaments or how far you go in those tournaments too so um let me know what you guys think for for this basketball um version of it um and um i know there's like teams like gonzaga and other teams that that are probably um, don't know if they're gonna make these conferences, but I mean they're still gonna it's still gonna be fun for college basketball whatever conference they're in. So um, I like it. Um, you guys can let me know what you think of the pairings. Oh, these are the networks I think they should be showing on too still for for college basketball as well. Same thing for college football, nothing different. Rotate the 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 tournament. The tournament the tournament could be shown actually. I want to talk about that because the tournament could be shown on all of these channels, all eight of them actually. And then when we get to like the Sweet 16 and all that other stuff, then you just do the top channels here. And then Final Four can rotate and the championship can, you know, all that could rotate every year. So, uh, like one region, there's four regions anyways. Um, was it West, East, North? No, West, East, Midwest, and South. So, uh, right? Yeah, West, East, Midwest, and South. So, each network can take over a, a region too, if anything, until we get to the to begin with. Until we get to the uh, Sweet Sixteen, then they, they'll be broken down into these top four probably, and then the Final Four. Well, they'll they'll pick one, and it'll you know it'll rotate every year. They'll just rotate. So if one year NBC has it, the following year ABC will have it, then CBS, and then Fox will have it. So that's what I feel like they should do. Um, we're gonna we can end it on a let's just end it on the let's just end it there where we started but yeah thanks for watching guys um the light keeps moving on me too so let me know what you think of the this version for back for for college basketball and um for the realignment for college basketball see how that works out for them um football i kind of already gone over i'll put a link here for the football version of it um and yeah, until next time, guys, go check out other videos, and we'll do more and uh, try to get back to other things, too, so we can give graphics here a little bit of a break. Um, some people like it, and some people want to see other things, so we'll try to focus on those other things, too. So.
stay tuned for more guys and <clears throat> thanks for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already thank you